Hello everyone, this is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. And today, I'm gonna to show you the number one rated PSA set for the N162 1888 Goodwin Champions. These cards are all from 1888. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about them. I've talked about them in my previous videos. So if you wanna go back and listen to a little bit of uh, their printing process, and a little bit of history on these cards. But I want to go ahead and show you the, the, the top set. First of all, I'm showing you this card because uh, this one had all of the cards in the back are the same. They have the checklist. And the reason this one is marked is because actually someone back in those days, in 1888, collected those cards and actually checked them off the checklist. I've had a lot of these cards and I've never had one like this. This shows that back in those days, someone actually, in 1888, tried to collect the entire set, which I have here. So I'm gonna show you that. But I thought that was a neat card. And, you know, going back to the same card, I have it in another grade here. This one's not marked, it's just a two. But this one actually shows the quality of the printing it's a perfect card, except, you know, it's got in the back. That's why I got it, too. It's been stuck on an album. But you can see the cards. What they look like. That's the high jumper. And back is, you can see the wire in the back. They have to jump that. With the fence and the sand pit there. So these are very beautifully drawn cards. So let me start with the first card of the set. And it starts with the baseball. And the Andrews is the first card. They are by alphabetical order. So, and the, actually the baseball players come first and the rest come later. So here's the Andrews in a five. And this one's a little bit better also in a five, a little bit better colors, better focus, even though the other one was the one on, on the PSA registry, but this was a little bit nicer. The next comes the Cap Anson, really the number one card in the set. I've videos these before the, uh, in another video, just the baseball players. So this is the complete set coming up here. So after that comes the, the brothers, band brothers. Again, in an excellent five, which are almost impossible to find in, in these cards from 1888. Here comes the Carruthers. Also in a five. Here comes the uh, Dunlop. Beautiful condition, nicely centered. Also in a five. Like I said, the backs are all the same. It has all just a checklist basically in the back. But after that comes the other baseball players. The Glasscock, that's a really nice card. It has them actually in the field, almost like an action pose there. You can see the background, played in basically dirt. It's also an excellent five. Next comes my top rated card in the baseball. And it's a Tim Keefe in an eight. This is an extremely rare card. It's, there are no nines. Nothing's graded higher than this. There is another eight and that's it. So none higher. And that's a beautiful card there. Tim Keefe, Hall of Fame pitcher, an eight. Next comes 
Kelly. And that's Ken Kelly. So one and a half. This is the one on the registry. Well, it's a one and a half because it has paper loss. Like many of these will have. But it was in an album and it's in beautiful condition. That's why I kept this one, even though I have a better one here in a four. That's an SGC four. That's a beautiful Kelly. That is my favorite card of the whole set. It's just, uh, you know, the sky. Everything in that car is just beautifully done. Moving on. Now with the other players with an A. Again, these were all champions at the time. So this is Joe Acton. And a five. Excellent five. I also have Joe Acton in a six. SGC six. Nice look at that card. In the ring there, getting ready to wrestle. Next we got the, the pedestrians. Yes, they were athletes. This is in a six and a half, James Albert. There's only one graded higher than this one. Next comes the uh, Oarsman, and the one on the registry is a two and a half, but I do have the highest graded, and I'll show you that one right now. And that's this one, and an eight. That's a beautiful card. Let's see the condition on that. So like they came right out of the factory. Next comes the uh, another one of the big cards in the set, which is Beecher. I also did a video on this card, uh, my previous videos. Beecher was the first football card ever made. Next comes some tennis. This is uh, Beekman, Beckman, Beekman, and a six. You can see the field back there. The, the lawn tennis is actually what it was, lawn tennis. And I also have it in the six. A little bit nicer card here with the uh, SGC holders. Next comes uh, some of the uh, marksmen. Captain Borgadors. And a five, he was the top marksman at the time. Next comes a big person in the history of the United States, which is Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill was the Wild West Hunter, and he was the champion. You can see he was the champion of the Wild West Hunters. And this is in a six. This is the highest graded copy. A lot of the ones you're going to see here are the highest graded copies of these cards. Next comes the daily. That is a billiards. 
and a five and a half. Beautiful artwork there with the scroll. Another nice card there. Next comes one of the boxers. One of the big boxers is Jack Dempsey. And a four and a half. But I also have it in a seven and a half. SGC. Next one, I'm gonna show a couple more and then I'm gonna move on um, and do a, like a two or three part because there's a lot of cards here to show in one, one show. So here comes uh, Dioro. He was a Billiard champion, a pool champion. He's of Cuban descent and a Nearman 7. That's the highest graded sample. Next comes one of the, uh, another lawn tennis, Dwight. This one I only have it in a three. And these are really difficult cards to obtain. Next, I'm gonna show you another pedestrian. And that is Fitzgerald and a five. It's just nice in the background. They walk all that area. Beautiful, the birds in the background. Beautiful artwork in these cards. Next, I'm going to show you the uh, Snapper Garrison. And a seven, he's a uh, jockey. Also, have it in a seven. SGC. Next comes the Oarsman, Jake Gardour, the Oarsman. The six. Nice card. Also having an SGC six. It's beautiful. You can see how the colors just pop on that card. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this video as a part one, and I'm going to do part two right after because it's already getting rather long. I like my videos short. So here comes the last one. I'll show here. Is the Hamlet in a seven? Your midnight seven. So, a quick recap. I'll just re list some of these there. It's here. shot of those so you can see those and um, that's part one of the video and here comes um, part two thank you for watching please subscribe uh, I'd like to get some more subscribers I only have I think seven subscribers and I've got about ten videos so thank you very much please like and subscribe and uh, here's the end of part one of this video and part two coming up soon thank you